Hello there, so I wanted to talk about my cheese threat. This kinda gives an impact to <laughs> to you as a top laner. So let's say the game starts out, right? Uh, let's even... Uh, we don't have to reset the game, right? Now, this is a cheese threat, which means it may or may not work out, and also the enemy jungler needs to start from the bottom side of the map, right? Now, how this works? You want to generally Q check bushes, right? So th there isn't like a random chance somebody is sitting there. You can Q this one as well as Mundo, don't worry about your HP. It's gonna generally regenerate before the buff comes up. And then you can use Oracle in case there is like a random chance that there is a bar. But in general, you should do it 10, 10, 20 seconds before the buff actually spawned. So there isn't like a small chance that uh, the enemy top lane is here. So at like 10, 15, 10 seconds, you should start Oracle and invade the enemy channel, right? Now, some ja some top laners can do it, some can And the idea is that you should play with TP as well. No. Here is the whole list. Uh, t, t champions are capable to do it. I didn't limit test it on everything, but this is how we do it. I have two examples. Um, probably you can do it even smoother than I do. We skyed it a tiny bit. We are getting it really quickly done because Mundo's Q is really good at against monsters. Uh, again, I finished the blue. Really great. Uh, da, da, da. And now I'm doing Gromp, I'm kiting it a tiny bit using my potions And now the idea is denying two camps is really important from the enemy jungler Especially if it's a f power farming jungler, right? Because that means that uh, you get to uh, recal right now in the present moment And TP back on top lane And what that, what that allows you to do is just quite simple uh, It allows you to uh, get a refillable potion, a control bar and have a blue buff advantage and you're gonna be level 2 in one minion and you also deny two, mini uh, two camps which is really good because uh, uh, power farming junglers will fall off in the early game such as Belvet they really need those early she really needs a level 4 she really needs um, needs those attacks with buffs from the camps of course uh, and in here what happens I just TP back and I have like two camps I have two camps I deny two camps really good and now the enemy jungler will probably most likely gank me, that's why you need to get a control bar as well. So, and some champions benefit more and some champions benefit less out of blue buff. Some champions are good at abusing it, like Heimerdinger, Mundo is not the best at it, right? Heimerdinger is also in the list now. The other thing, there's like Heimerdinger one, just wanted to show it of Hello course. Hello there, I want just to make it as a whole. Uh, in here you just simply place down your squad. It's really easy, you can double camp them really. You can even do it as a mid lane, top lane. It doesn't matter if you play even bot lane Heimerdinger. You can do it un until you have TP. The idea is to recall after that so you can spend your gold and regenerate back your HP. You can even do it faster than I did on Heimerdinger. You can do it way faster actually. Uh, and you can recall faster. It was like a my mistake on my part for not resetting before the time. And then you can just TP back and. Just simply pick up the minions and spam your W on Heimer, which is really great because you have a mana, right? Now, here's the spreadsheet. Uh, if your champion is not here, some of them I didn't limit test them, like Ireldia, because it's something I wouldn't even consider can do it. Um, but definitely, like, you can limit test your own champion with longsword 3 pots or cloth arm or uh, 4 pots uh, if you want to do this cheese thread. But if it's not on the list, most likely it does not work out. I didn't try Gwen out. I feel like she could do it, but I'm not 100%, so you can try Gwen out. Um, I feel like she can do it. And um, as I said, it's a cheese threat, so it may or may not work. But it's really great on some champions, like Darius, because if you do it correctly on Darius, now Darius is not a TP user, which means you can TP back, right? But if you do it correctly on Darius, uh, you're gonna be actually really extremely healthy. Which means you don't even need to TP to TP back, right? You can you can even like still choose simply a blue, and you're gonna be almost uh, close to full HP. Something like that. I don't know exactly how much HP you'll have. So you know, let's start now with Darius. Just an example, right? They will regret opposing me. Tools don't really matter too much. Alacrity. They don't really matter all that much, but this is a little bit more, I guess. Maybe you can pick tenacity if you want tenacity, it's up to you. I mean that alacrity won't do too much, it just makes your kiting a bit more smooth. Uh, in general you want to also Q start for healing, the healing is, is really great. I'm not sure if W start is better, it might be a bit faster, but then you got to need a TP, because um, I feel like Q start is just better, no? Because it heals, not 100% sure, like 
Mm, not with you, start this battle, just with the healing guys. So, general team, we should start, 100%. Now, we can also long sword start, I think that makes it a little bit healthier. Of course, let's skip a tiny bit, skip a tiny bit again, right? Um, the buff spawns, you can take them down really quick, right? You can even like Q before it spawns, so you can time your Q to it, but you can also Q after the first auto attack. Oops, oh, I cancelled one auto, it's my bad. You can do it more properly than I did, but you can also try it with long sword three pots. With long sword three pots, you might actually get a more healthy uh, early game. Let's just test it out right away. I messed it up a tiny bit. Oops, let's reset actually the game just so I kill it quick. Long sword three pots, right? It might even be healthier and faster. It pro it's probably actually better if I think about it. Yes, it's probably better. Now let's Never spawn them really quick in here. Just like that, just like that. Minions has spawned. And now you can have an extremely good early game. So let's say now the blue buff spawned, right? I went a bit away with the time, but let's say now it spawned. Generally, really good. Might be better a little bit to start out uh, a few right after the first auto. Really smooth, really smooth. Okay. One more out of the screen. Maybe the last thing is not the last thing is not really going to be. No way, the last thing is not really good. I think I was a little bit slow on queuing there. Maybe I was a little slow. Can maybe reset it and. I, sh I should have actually queue it. Yeah, if I queued it, it would be healthier because I wouldn't take that auto and my health would be a bit higher because of the Q healing and I would take one less auto so you can be approximately full HP with two buffs and you'll be gonna be level 2 in one minion two minions I messed it up here yeah. so you can probably definitely do it better than I did um, but you guys get the general idea of course and then you don't have potions so you generally wanna do it in three matchups because on Darius you don't really wanna take PP so if it's forgiving that you don't have any potions with a long sword in, a, in such an easy matchup and it's definitely great because you have a blue buff so you can spam your mana as much as you want and you have less pain now, right? And it's also about setting behind the enemy jungler of course. Now even if you start this shield you're gonna end up with like 500 HP and you're gonna have more regen from this shield. So it's up to your preference, it's gonna go more offensive, it builds into something. But usually the only way you do it if you have a free matchup, right? Like really really free, but you don't need potions at all. Right. Now, Warwick, you can 100% do it. Or on some of the champions you need a little bit of a mid leash. I tried some champs, but on some of them you need a little bit of a mid leash to do it. Because on some of them, I didn't. Some of them I didn't add to the list because you need a little bit of a leash. Otherwise, it doesn't feel like it's realistic for you to do it. Um, and um, yeah, it's, it's definitely great if you, if you are really getting annoyed as a top laner by uh, the enemy uh, um, jungler, of course. Uh, if you wanna. Like they won't even know what to do, most likely out of rage they will just spam gank you, so you gotta be careful what we do, right? That's why you need to recall, TP back, get the control guard of course. Uh, and then again, as I said, it's a cheese threat and if it will get too popular, then people will know if you are missing from top lane, then they will rotate for the romp and blue. But until it's unpopular, uh, you can definitely abuse it, because people will be clueless. Like I did this uh, multiple times in Master Plus, yes. And it worked. It worked like three times in a row. It worked uh, the fourth and the fifth time. It didn't work because the enemy jungler started from the buff. So I limit tested almost every top lane. I don't even have the game in my matches story because I played uh, so much. Uh, I limit set limit tested uh, so many things. Right. Okay. Uh, that's it for now. Actually, I showed most of the parts. You guys already know how it works. Definitely. Uh, you need to learn how to clear them. Of course, that's one of the things. But once it works, uh, it can be definitely abused uh, because more than often people don't ward it, don't guard it, so it should be free.